and welcome to this episode of Tech Tip Tuesday. I am Naomi. I'm one of the trainers specialising in M1 here at ECI Solutions. Today we're going to take a look at the My Start page. Now when you first get M1, the My Start page is blank. So what we're going to do is we're going to populate that with some items or some views that you might want to have as a dashboard so you can have a look at what's going on in your shop at a, at a glance. So let's go in and do that. So we're going to start by clicking this drop down here and that's going to add another, we're going to add another column. So we're going to click add column. We've now got two columns that we can fill with our displays. What we're going to do is over here, we're going to start with a couple of grids that are relevant for finance people. So we're going to start with an accounts payable one. So we're going to click on this drop down again and click add item. We're going to choose a grid. Now what we're going to be looking at in this example is that we're going to be going for AP invoices. Now what I'm looking at, I've just typed in AP in and what I want to have a look at is AP invoices that are, un, that are posted and unpaid. So these are the ones that we've entered in the system but we haven't paid them yet. So I'm going to double click on that and immediately that grid appears in our My Start page. I'm going to add another finance related grid and this time the grid is one that I prepared. It's a custom grid. So this custom grid, it's still going in through the grid definitions and we can choose custom. Now here we can't see anything saying customer but if I click once and then click twice on the custom header I then see my three custom grids. The one I'm going to put in there now is the open sales orders greater than $200. Double click and it goes into your display. The next thing I'm going to have a look at, I'm going to highlight for you, is a couple of ways that the production guys can see where they're up to. So I'm going to use the other column here and we're going to click the drop down and I'm going to add an item and this time I'm going to add a calendar. And this calendar I'm looking at, I click down here in the search and what I want to find out is have a look at our jobs calendar. So we can see, I've just typed jobs down the bottom here in the search field and I'm going to choose jobs all. So I just double click on that. And now I can see a calendar of the current month of what jobs are scheduled. Now here I don't have any scheduled, but if I click on January, there are some jobs that I had scheduled to run in January. So we're going to add one more and we're going to look at... Sorry, we're going to look at job operations behind schedule. Now that's always one that's good to know about. So we're going to go the drop down arrow, then add item, and we're going to go back to grid again. So we'll click on grid, and now what I'm going to type in over here is I'm just going to say behind. And what I can see here is we've got jobs operations behind schedule, and there's three of them. So I'm just going to expand this column by double clicking on it, and I want to know all the job operations behind schedule. So I'm going to double click on this option and that appears in my display on my start page. So those are some commonly used grids and the calendar that you might want to have displaying on your home page or on your my start page in M1. There are many others that you could use and it's just a matter of exploring by clicking the drop down, add item and then seeing what you want to find. Well, I thank you for joining me in this Tech Tip Tuesday video. I hope you have a great day and keep using your M1 program. Enjoy.